You guys can't see, but I'm not wearing pants. You know what that is? That is some risky business. Oh! Well, hi there. Welcome to another episode of Just a Damn Minute. I'm so delighted that you could join me. Today, I'm going to do something just a little bit different. We're going to do something called News Bits because, hey, I read the news, you read the news, but what you're lacking is incisive social commentary from me. According to analysts, Federal Justice Minister Peter McKay will run out of feet to shove into his mouth hole long before the end of the federal government's fiscal year end in March 31st, 2015. If you missed out on the parade of idiocy that has become the Justice Minister's M.O., let me fill you in. Last week, uh, Justice Minister Peter McKay said that uh, women don't want to be judges. Uh, when he was asked why there are so few women judge appointees. Now, these comments come on the heels of the release of two pieces of legislation. One of them is called the Protection of Communities and Exploited Persons Act, which is all around prostitution. It's also known as Bill C-36. And another bill all about cyberbullying and privacy, which it's widely agreed aspects or wholesale pieces of these bills will be struck down uh, by the courts when they actually take effect. Now, the unfortunate thing about what Peter McKay was saying about uh, women judge appointees is that he wasn't technically wrong. What he did say was that he doesn't believe a lot of women are applying to be judges. And it turns out women and visible minorities who do apply to be judges, that data just isn't tracked. Here's what the Globe and Mail said in an editorial earlier this week. When it comes to women, the disproportionately low number of judicial appointees does not reveal the number of women who apply, nor do the data attempt to capture the reasons why women don't. So Peter McKay might have been right, but he was probably wrong. Mr. McKay has yet to offer an explanation why the number of minority judges is so shockingly low when several surveys suggest the pool of qualifying candidates is hardly shallow. Oh, what's this? Another example of our federal government making wild assertions without any data to back the, them up? Could this have something to do with Prime Minister Harper's war on evidence and science and scientists and evidence-based decision-making? Great job, everybody. Now let's go all the way to the West Coast to a place called Ganges Harbor in Salt Spring Island. First Nations residents are upset with an individual who wants to build a massive luxury home on a small island called Grace Islet. That millionaire is a man from Edmonton, a guy by the name of Barry Slosky, the owner of the San Francisco gift shops. That's right, the man who made his nut off novelty glasses shaped like boobies, novelty drinking bottles shaped like boobies, and t-shirts with boobies printed on them is now messing with First Nations people in the Gulf Islands. The issue here is that Grace Islet is actually a burial site for a lot of the ancestors of First Nations people who live in the Gulf Islands. And in spite of the fact that those First Nations people have asked Mr. Slosky if they can remove the remains of their ancestors, he has told them unequivocally, no, you may not. Like so many of the products that Slosky used to sell, this guy is a huge dick. Also boobs. And now, as promised, or as mentioned many times before, it is June Barrassment Month. And this episode of Just a Damn Minute marks the last submission. This time around, we're going to hear a story from Amy Shostak, the artistic director of Rapid Fire Theatre here in Edmonton. She's got a tale all about her tale down on the West Coast Trail. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Last summer, I was hiking the West Coast Trail with my brother and some friends, and it was the end of the day. We'd been hiking since 7 in the morning. We'd hiked over 20 kilometers. We were exhausted. Instead of switchbacks going down hills and coming up hills, uh, there's often ladders. So it had been a day f chock full of ladders, ladders everywhere. For me, climbing a ladder with a 40-pound pack was getting tiresome. So. We kept coming to these valleys that were just ladders all the way down and ladders all the way up. And I was on the verge of tears. My brother was very comforting and he was like, Amy, don't worry. We're almost at the campsite. You're going to come around a corner or crest a hill and the campsite will be right there. Don't worry. He took off and continued hiking and I was the last one in, in our party. I came to a valley and it was ladders. 
And I came to another valley, and it was ladders, and this just kept going on. Finally, I came to another valley, and as I was cresting the hill, I was certain that it was gonna be the campsite. We were gonna look down and see a beautiful sea of tents and the cedar outhouse, and I would be so relieved. As I crested this hill, it was just more ladders. And my body basically went, Amy, like, we don't trust you anymore. We don't know how long we're gonna be hiking. And everything released, and I shit my pants. Shit my pants. Shit my pants. Or more accurately, I shit my short shorts, which is even worse, if you can imagine. So I was covered in mud up to my knees, and I was covered in shit from my shorts down. And I just was so embarrassed. There's people coming on the trail, so I bolted right into the woods, dropped my 40-pound pack, and then just started openly weeping for this great indiscretion. Uh, I was so deeply embarrassed that I didn't go catch up to my brother, and I eventually found them waiting for me at a bridge thinking I had hurt myself um, because I had spent such a long time just deeply weeping in the woods. Anyway, happy June Embarrassment Month! I'm already at 71 subscribers as of the recording of this video, and I want more. I want to amass subscribers like, like, uh, trinkets, uh, div things that you collect. Like one of those weird old ladies who goes to bingo and has all those troll dolls. That's how I think of my subscribers. I also think you're really awesome. So please make sure you click on the subscribe button, either down here, down here, or uh, right over here, conveniently located uh, right above my head.